This is the Avaya Podcast Network. APN. Technology, news, and information. All in one place. This is the 9 talk Podcast, episode 103. Recorded Saturday, September 1st, 2012. Welcome to this edition of E911 Talk with your host, Mark Fletcher, Pilot Line Manager for Emergency Services at Avaya. Now, here's Fletch. Last week, the podcast listenership more than doubled to over 3,000 downloads of my podcast episodes. I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers and remind everyone that my goal is to produce content that's valuable to you. I take all your comments and suggestions seriously, and you're the ones that steer the direction of this media outlet. If you enjoy it, let me know. And if not, well, I'm interested in that too. As we get ready to celebrate the Labor Day weekend here in the U.S., we also kick off the annual nationwide event called the National Preparedness Month. The Department of Homeland Security, DHS, has developed a specific website providing information about disaster preparedness for anyone who's interested. It's known as the Ready Site, and it's available at www. .ready.gov. It contains free brochures, booklets, and other collateral that'll give you detailed information on how to be prepared for an emergency. But disasters are not just for grown-ups. Both DHS and FEMA have developed children-specific websites to teach our young ones of all ages about being ready. Through the use of games, activities, and age-specific guides, the websites teach our young adults to be prepared. And they also include links for parents and teachers, including printed materials that can be used at home or in our schools. The kids-specific websites are www.ready.gov forward slash kids and www.fema.gov forward slash kids. I urge all my readers and listeners to stop by these websites and be informed, make a plan, and build a kit. If you feel inclined to do so and are able to, there are also links out there on how you can get involved. Getting ready is not just for citizens in their homes, though. Creating a preparedness program for your employees in your business can have a major impact on employee safety. The Ready.gov business section will assist you in developing a preparedness program for your business by providing the tools to create a plan and address the impact of many hazards. The website and its tools utilize an all-hazards approach and follows the National Fire Prevention Association standard on business continuity. DHS has even created a humorous video highlighting the need for the preparedness plan, and I've included that in my written blog on www.avaya.com forward slash Fletcher. Be sure to check it out for a good laugh. Later this month, I'm going to be featuring some specific information on the Avaya Notification Solution, or ANS. We'll show you how the ANS can supply a solution for communications requirements during a disaster, such as notification and the ability to solicit or prompt the recipient for a response as part of the notification process, or bringing individuals together real-time at the push of a button. We'll talk about some specific use cases in the industries where we see the greatest demand for such systems, such as government, local, state, and federal, education, in particular higher education, and universities and community colleges, as well as healthcare. We'll talk about specific use cases and it'll provide some risk mitigation and allow businesses to improve their preparedness by providing a rapid and effective response while minimizing downtime in the impact operations. All of this will provide increased situational awareness and control that'll allow line of business leaders in specific environments to provide a collaborative multimedia communication session at times when normal forms of communications may be closed. This coming week, I'll be giving a presentation about the Avaya ANS at the 2012 Kentucky Emergency Services Conference in Louisville. In the following week, on September 10th, I'll be in Chicagoland at the Illinois Institute of Technology Real-Time Communications Conference and Expo. There, I'll be presenting Enterprise Contributions and the Next Generation 911 Network. The IIT conference is a great opportunity to catch up on Next Generation 911 from every angle. It's a great opportunity to hear from several leaders in the industry. And for more information, you can go to www.rtc-conference.com. If you're in the area, be sure to stop by. 
You've been listening to the E911 Talk Podcast with your host, Mark Fletcher, Product Line Manager for Emergency Services at Avaya. E911 Talk is a weekly podcast available on sites like this, as well as iTunes, and is available free of charge. If you have any comments or questions, you can email Fletch at FletcherM at Avaya.com. That's Fletcher, the letter M, at Avaya.com. Be sure to listen in next week for more informative topics on E911. 911, the line is recorded. What is the exact location of your emergency? This is the Avaya Podcast Network. APN.